Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another exciting episode of Mike James and his lime mortar. Now, my accent's a bit stronger uh, than it usually is, simply because I've been back up north, I've been home. And um, that's, that's what two weeks of being up north will do, Yorkshire accent straight back. So, what I want to talk to you about today is simply this. Uh, it's the uh, it's when contractors add cement mortar, sorry cement, to a lime mortar. Now, as I mentioned previously on videos, cement has absolutely no free lime content whatsoever. Even though it comes from limestone, it's all burnt out into the atmosphere as carbon. Right, so it's rubbish basically. It's one of the single most greatest pollutants um, in the world. The manufacturer of cement uh, and what happens is basically you get builders who get natural hydraulic lime and they make a mortar uh, and then they add cement now what you're actually doing is you're introducing two competing forces the cement dries um, with uh, because it's exposed to air and because of a chemical reaction, right? The chemical reaction will allow it to set under water. Um, and what you've got is you've got lime, which relies on carbonation. Now that's a completely different kettlefish, completely different ball game. All lime mortars require a certain amount of carbonation to harden up over time. Carbonation usually takes about 12 months, right? So it doesn't make any difference. Quick lime mortar, lime hydrate mortar, natural hydraulic lime, lime mortar, a 3.5, a, 3 a 2, a 5. Hybrid lime mortars, they're all the same. They all require a certain amount of exposure to carbon dioxide in the atmosphere so they can pull it out of the air and harden up. And what happens is, the second you put cement in your mortar, you introduce a competing force which inhibits the carbonation. So what happens is, you actually set the mortar by introducing the cement and the lime cannot carbonate. So you end up with a cement mortar, which is set because of a chemical reaction which literally lock out all the properties of the lime. So effectively what you get is you get a plasticizer. Lime becomes a plasticizer. It doesn't actually work to do anything else except make the mortar more workable. It will make it softer, but only marginally less so. And to be perfectly honest with you, if you're gonna introduce a lime mortar to a cement mortar, you're just wasting your time just use cement and just have fun with it don't mess about um, you know because at the end of the day why introduce two competing forces it's rather like if you said to me hey Mike I'd love to like I'd like to talk lime mortar with you all day let's go out for a, let's go out for a pint and I go all right mate um, and I say one of the best things you can have actually for a pint is half champagne and half Newcastle brown ale mixed in the same glass you'd say I don't think so and I say, ah, oh, but they're both alcohol though, aren't they? They're both, the, you can get drunk on it in the same way as you would a champagne or the same way you would as Newcastle Brown. And yes, and you'd say, yes, but Mike, can we keep them mutually exclusive? Right, now that's what we're talking about, right? The mutual exclusivity of cement and lime. You do not combine them. Right, it's just like if you were going to combine plastic and rubber, you, you're combining two competing forces which will not work well together. And what you actually get is you get failure. Now, you're not going to get it within the first five years, you're not going to get it within, within 10 years. But houses which were built in the 1970s from hybrid cement and lime mortars have now got mortar failure. Now this, this has been sitting here for the past, well this was built in the uh, uh, in the 1700s. Just been sitting there, wicking away the moisture quite happily. The masonry bees have had a go at it and you know, it's got a bit old, it's starting to fall out. But this is the kind of longevity 
that you should be looking at when it comes to um, a line motor. Not sort of 30 or 40 years. In fact, you know, there's a property not too far away from here. It was built with cement 25 years ago. It's being repointed, you know, because cement is just absolute rubbish. So no more of this combining cement and land because it will do nobody any good. It harms the environment. It's bad for buildings. It's just rotten, full stop, right? So, you know, please, please share this around the world if you would. Um, but anyway, um, I wish I, well, I wish all you limers, um, I wish you all well. And um, whatever you do, just leave the bags of cement down the builders, merchants where they belong. All right, cheers.